So thank you very much, uh, doctors, for having the smoking cessation program of the Department of Family and Community Medicine in this joint lecture. Uh, we are very uh, delighted to be here, shedding light on smoking cessation. Uh, we see this as a great opportunity for us to share and provide insights on, <clears throat> excuse me, on quitting smoking. So uh, in behalf of Dr. Kasha, um, I would like to uh, provide this lecture. Actually, she is here. However, um, her signal is, if I'm not mistaken, I'm erratic. But we will. Uh, I will try to deliver uh, this uh, lecture in a very informative manner. Um, before I start, I would like to um, acknowledge the presence of uh, Dr. Marisol Montiliano as well. Uh, one of our consultants in the program. Magandang hapon po. So, moreover, uh, this would be the learning objectives of this part of the program. And this is the overview of tobacco epidemic or the tobacco burden. So tobacco is a significant uh, risk factor uh, for the main uh, non-communicable diseases um, and is responsible for almost two-thirds of deaths worldwide. In addition, tobacco use um, is the single most preventable cause of death globally. Each year, smoking kills nearly 6 million people, more than AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. So these are some facts from World Health Organization. So tobacco kills up to half of its users, and tobacco kills more than 8 million people each year. More than 7 million of those deaths are the results of direct tobacco use, while around 1.2 million are the result of non-smokers uh, being exposed to secondhand smoke. Over 80, oh, sorry, over 80 percent of the world's 1.3 billion uh, tobacco users live in low and middle-income countries. In 2020. 22.3% of the global population use tobacco and 36.7% of all men and 7.8% of all world's women. So to address the tobacco epidemic, World Health Organization member states adopted the World Health Organization um, Framework Convention on Tobacco Control or the FCTC in 2003. And currently 182 countries have ratified this treaty. So the World Health Organization empower measures are in line with the World Health Organization FCTC and have been shown to uh, save lives and reduce costs from averted healthcare expenditure. So in the Philippines, um, there are uh, 21 million, uh, approximately 21 million Filipino adult smokers, 84%, um, that is approximately 7.6 million are males and 16%, that is 3.8 million are females. So that makes the Philippines rank a 9 and 16th place worldwide. Sadly, 
one in five uh, youth aged 13 to 15 years old are already smokers. So um, in terms of um, economic burden, the government revenue from tobacco taxes is about 23 billion annual economic losses due to productivity and healthcare costs. So despite the ill effects and um, kill effects of tobacco, 30% of Filipino adults still smoke. So these are the reasons why tobacco use is common in the Philippines. First is easy access and low prices. So I think this is self-explanatory because currently, um, nabibili lang siya sa mga sari-sari store, nabibili siya sa mga vendors na walang regulation. Aside from that, ang pinakamura tingin ko is limang piso hanggang sampung piso. Aside from that, yung aggressive and widespread market. So lately, um, it was um, parang nahook up ako sa panunood ng mga previous um, mga advertisements ng early uh, 1990s. So nung binalikan ko yun, um, yung, yung parang approach nila is yung magagandang scenery, yung parang ang dating um, cool guy pag nagsisigarilyo. So talagang may inggan mo kang magsigarilyo. Pangalawa, yung widespread marketing. Um, isa sa nakikita ko pag, pag sinabing widespread marketing is yung um, pwede kang manalo ng isang milyong piso, pwede kang manalo ng sasakyan pag nag, nag, naghulog ka doon sa drop box pag ginamit mo yung yung parang panglabas na pakete nung, nung sigarilyo. So, talagang mas lalong may inganyo yung mga taong uh, mamili ng, ng, mga, ng sigarilyo. Also, yung lack of awareness about it, its danger. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, ang madalas na gumagamit ng sigarilyo are yung mga tao, yung mga nasa low to middle income na mga ng mga tao. So kasabay niyan yung lack of education uh, sa lack of education sa mga danger sa mga panganib na pwedeng makuha ng ng ano ng ng tao sa paninigarilyo. And lastly, uh, weakness in the implementation of the policies and programs uh, to curb the tobacco epidemic. So sa city kung saan ako nanggaling, they actually tried to pattern the uh, smoking ordinance of Davao City. However, um, I think it was um, parang naging law siya, naging city ordinance siya when I was still in high school. However, it did not become successful. Ang nakikita ko is because first, mismo yung, yung nagpapatupad, katulad ng mga polis, yung, yung mismong councillors, yung mismong congressman, and even yung, yung mayor, they do smoke in in public um, places. That's why hindi uh, na implement ng maayos yung yung mga mga ganitong batas. So in 1988, a national coalition program was created. This program consists of different institutions such as your Philippine Medical Association, your Tri Chest Societies, such as your Philippine College of Chest Physicians. Philippine Academy of Pediatric Pulmonologies and your Philippine uh, College of Cardiologies and as well as the Philippine Heart Foundation. So these are the institutions of measures against smoking. So in 1994, the Department of Health uh, launched the anti-smoking campaign Yossi Kadiri. So the campaign sought to decrease smoking among children and attempted to counter yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung handsome cowboy and sporting images of smokers uh, promoted in uh, tobacco advertising. So another another uh, way to control the the tobacco use in the country is the Republic Act number no. nine two one one, also known as the Tobacco Regulation Act of two thousand and three. So it is an omnibus uh, law regulating smoking in public places, tobacco advertising, promotion and sponsorship, and sales restrictions among other. Uh, requirements. That's why we don't see um, uh, advertisements of uh, mga sigarilyo. Also, Administrative Order 122 uh, series of 2003 was created to form uh, specific guidelines in National Smoking Cessation Program. So the World Health Organization, FCTC, 
is a milestone in the promotion of public health and provides new legal dimensions for um, international health cooperation. It is the first treaty negotiated under the auspices of World Health Organization. So the World Health Organization FCTC was um, adopted by the World Health um, Assembly on May 21, 2003 and entered into force on February 27, 2005. So with all the current laws and its provisions, so the National Smoking Cessation Program was created. So the main goal of the program is the provision of smoking cessation uh, services to um, current smokers. So the program was also established uh, due to the identified barriers, namely uh, lack of awareness. There is also lack of willingness of the smokers. There is also difficulty in conceptualizing a smoking cessation uh, operation or smoking cessation clinic operation. There are also an unavailability of clinic space and human resources such as role modeling, awareness, uh, lack of commitment, skills, and time. So the city government of Davao has also crafted a city ordinance, also known as the order creating the implementing rules and regulations for the Comprehensive Anti-Smoking Ordinance of Davao City or the Ordinance Number 0367-12 Series of 2012. So the backbone of this ordinance is the um, FCTC of the World Health, World Health Organization. So the highlight of the ordinance is that uh, the City Health Office and the City Engineer's Office are tasked to check, check on the appropriateness of the designated as smoking areas, especially in public places and establishment, and as well as uh, to ban all tobacco-derived products. As of this year, these are the, the fines imposed when this ordinance is uh, violated. So SPMC, being an institution that provides high-quality health services, also recognizes the burden of tobacco smoking to the health sector of the country and the city and the city as well um as a response the smoking cessation the smoking cessation um clinic was created in 2011 patterned under the republic act 9211 and adopted the doh 100 percent uh, smoke free environment policy so this is the uh, vision and mission of the program and as well as is its objectives. So aside from the consultant, we also have the uh, program managers and coordinators, usually in our current setting are the residents, and these are their roles and responsibilities. So as of this writing, the clinic or the program was able to cater more than 44 patients. So this is the demographic profile of our patient scene. Mostly are our employees. So way back, uh, probably pre-pandemic, if I may say, so the human uh, resource section or human resource department of SPMC uh, usually refer patients to our clinic for smoking cessation intervention. So the next slide will be about how the smoking cessation program manages its patients. <laughs> So when patients undergo uh, smoking cessation intervention, uh, there are several forms the clinic uses when we cater patients. We first collect the data of the patient, including the smoking history. So this is similar uh, as to how we get the demographic data of our patients in the clinic. So moreover, uh, different persons have different reasons or motivations for smoking. So some smoke because of physiologic effects, others because of it becomes a habit, and for some others, it, it is a way of coping with psychological stressors. So a self-test on these reasons or motivations can help address the real problems such as the horns uh, smoker self-test. As seen in the interpretation of the self-assessment, there are three major reasons for smoking, uh, namely physiologic, psychological, and behavioral dependence. So interventions can focus on any or combination of these reasons, depending on assessment of client. So we also have the Fagerstrom test for nicotine dependence, 
which is our basis for providing nicotine replacement therapy such as um, the patches. So it is a yes or no items and are scored from zero to one and multiple choice items are scored from zero to three. So the items are summed to yield a total score of zero to 10. The total uh, Fagerstrom score, the more intense is the patient's physical dependence on nicotine. So we also have forms used when we assess the patient's previous attempts to stop smoking. So this is the form that we use when we assess patient's readiness to quit. So this is derived from the uh, trans theoretical model of change by Prochaska and Di Clementi, which was um, explained thoroughly by uh, the first lecture. But I would like to emphasize, uh, according to the manual that we are reading, um, real, the, the relapse phase is, is, uh, is, is like a pseudo phase. Ang sabi kasi, yung, re, yung relapse phase is um, parang hindi talaga siya part ng um, trans radical model of change. change. It is the, the termination or completion phase. However, um, it is very important to, to consider or to, to discuss or to recognize patients who underwent relapse because this is the part where patients um, de develop uh, some uh, uh, psychosocial uh, problems causing them to smoke again. So the next slides will be about the different interventions for um, uh, smoking cessation. So as mentioned earlier, uh, Form B or the HORN's uh, self-test is used to assess clients' um, motivation for smoking. So usually the, motive, the uh, interventions would be uh, physiologic, psychological, and behavioral dependence. Um, usually um, nicotine replacement therapies usually address the, the signs and symptoms of physiologic dependence or withdrawal, and counseling would address the physiologic and behavioral um, dependence. So as mentioned earlier, uh, nicotine replacement therapy such as patch, gum, and lozenges um, address the physiologic dependence. No? Usually the withdrawal symptoms are insomnia, um, irritability, inability to concentrate, um, increased appetite, and of course, weight gain. So in our clinic, uh, we are able to acquire patches, yung Nicoret patches. Um, I just forgot, but I think it comes in three dosages, yung 10 milligram, 15 milligram, and if I'm not mistaken, 24 milligram. So smoking the smoking cessation clinic or the smoking cessation program um, has partnered with uh, World Health Organization through Dr. Florante Trinidad. MPH who provided us the patches. And I think this is the first time that the department, or should I say that the program or the clinic was able to use nicotine replacement therapy. I won't be discussing Ripopion and Vernicline since we don't use them um, as of the moment. So interventions addressing psychological dependence and, uh, and this would include stress management techniques such as um, having adequate sleep, having rep, and recreation, having regular um, exercise, imagery, and imagination. Also, we have um, interventions for addressing behavioral dependence. So we have your diversionary activities that includes sports, hobbies, livelihood projects. We also do behavioral counseling. You no, know? Counseling is a process of helping a process achieve personal growth, improve interpersonal relations, solve problems and make decisions and change behavior. So, um, sa training namin, sa brief tobacco intervention or smoking cessation, uh, ito yung palaging lumalabas sa post, sa pre-test and sa post-test. Ano yung tatlong dependence and ano yung mga interventions. So, again, pag physiologic, dito papasok yung medications such as your mga antidepressants, your uh, nicotine replacement therapies. Uh, for physiological dependence, we ang um, usually nagiging answer is um, stress management techniques, and for behavioral dependence, uh, we can do diversionary activities. So, relatively, the goal of smoking cessation programs is to provide a supportive environment 
for those who would want to quit. So as healthcare workers, uh, we aim to promote and protect the non-smokers' right to breathe clean air, right to speak out and act against smokers who pollute the environment. So the next two slides are aimed to provide you with a process flow on how we manage and follow uh, the patients. Um, so usually, the patients we see are referrals from different departments. Um, however, most referrals as of this moment uh, we get are referrals from other programs of the department, such as your um, asthma club, your, your NTP, your geriatric club, and the like. So pre-pandemic, like what I've said earlier, uh, most of our uh, referrals come from the uh, human resource department. No? They, they refer patients uh, who smoke for smoking cessation intervention or at least brief tobacco intervention. Kahit ma ang goal, uh, is, if I'm not mistaken, is kahit mag-undergo lang sila ng counseling. So usually, uh, um, you know, uh, smoking cessation requires uh, multiple sessions. No, during the first sessions, uh, this is um, where most of our forms are employed. Uh, it's either we let them answer the forms, since most of the forms, if if not all forms, are uh, self-administered. So, uh, when we do the counseling, um, ideally one session should only run for at least uh, ten to fifteen minutes. Actually. Tatlo yung, tatlo yung manual na ginagamit namin. Dalawang Philippine-made uh, manual and one is an American manual. Sa Philippine-made, ang nililimit nila yung uh, counseling uh, to maximum na yung 15 minutes. But according to the American guidelines that, that we also follow, dapat ang isang session magtatagal lang ng tatlong minuto. Pero <laughs> parang imposible siya. Kasi sometimes yung patients na nakikita namin, um, meron pa din silang other um, medical concerns. no So being a, a family physician, um, we also try to uh, try to um, address the, the biomedical side, not just the, the patient um, trying to smoke uh, for a while. Uh, pasensya na. May, may duman kasi na aeroplano. So, um, you know, so during the first session, uh, we determine the client's smoking history and, and current smoking status. We list the factors that modif no motivate or lead client to smoke. We assess the client's um, nicotine dependence through the uh, Fagerstrom uh, yung questionnaire. We also assess the client's readiness to stop smoking, yung sa trans theoretical model of change, and assess the client's previous attempts to uh, stop smoking. So in the second session, we plan for the patient's um, readiness to quit. So sa smoking cessation or sa brief tobacco intervention kasi, um, we identify three types of patient. Yung first is yung patient who is ready to quit, uh, not ready to quit and yung yung relapse for patients um not ready to quit so the goal is not to force the patient to quit but instead provide them with education on the effects of smoking the effects of quitting and the services of the program or the services of the clinic so the key here um according to the trainings that we had is to provide them with with pamphlets uh, meron kami usually pamphlets na pinamimigay. Uh, actually, sa level pa lang ng, uh, should I say, general physician or general uh, family medicine practitioner, um, they try to counsel the patient. Pag, pag na-notice naman nila na the patient is not ready to quit, um, they provide pamphlets or at least um, uh, IEC or educational materials where we, they can uh, refer once in a while. We also provide them with contact numbers and uh, yung schedule ng aming uh, clinic. So um, dito din, for patients who are not ready to quit, pumapasok yung motivational interviewing. Actually, motivational interviewing in smoking cessation is a different training. But 
to give a parang overview on on ano yung content ng training um ang ginagamit nila is the five R's yung relevance risk rewards roadblocks and repetition actually ngayon ginagamit na rin namin ito uh, actually we we just ask things just to to suffice these five R's and then this works well yung five R's to patients who are not willing to quit because it provides them the avenue uh, to realize why they have to quit and what hinders them to quit. So according to the manual na nabasa ko, the main goal of uh, motivational interviewing in smoking cessation is to express empathy, develop discrepancy, uh, role with resistance, and support uh, self-efficacy. Moreover, for those who are ready to quit, we ask them to write a quit contract and provide a quit diary and then in the next sessions dito papasok yung nicotine replacement therapies yung further counseling and yung frequent monitoring so um being a family uh, physician aside from the CEA uh, we use the five A's in treating smoking depend uh, smoking or tobacco dependence so ano ba itong ano five A's no so first it we we ask no we ask about tobacco use. Uh, dito, we identify and document uh, tobacco use status for every patient at every visit. We also advise them to quit. Uh, since yun yung goal ng smoking cessation clinic or smoking cessation program. So, in a clear, strong, and uh, usually um, personalized manner, we urge every tobacco users to quit. The next is, we assess um, willingness to quit uh, to quit uh, tobacco use. So dito, tinatanong natin yung patient if are they willing to attempt uh, uh, to quit smoking as of this time. So etong first three, um, etong first three um, A's of the five A's are very essential. Usually, um, sa third A, nagsa-stop, Pag ang patient is nakaklasify natin as not ready to quit. So moving forward, um, we assess, we sorry, we assist the patient in in a uh, quit attempt. So for the patients willing to make a quit attempt, we offer medication and provide or refer for counseling or additional treatment to help the um the patient uh, quit. No, siguro uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, baka dito pwedeng pumasok yung, yung psychiatrist. And finally, we arrange the patient for follow-up. So for the patients willing to quit, uh, we make a uh, we, uh, willing to quit. So we arrange them a uh, follow-up con uh, follow-ups uh, beginning with the first week after the uh, quit date. So these are some of the ways to address uh, different uh, withdrawal symptoms. And tulad nung na-discuss kanina uh, doon sa early na discussion and tulad nung in-emphasize ko kanina doon sa uh, transtheoretical model of change um, and according to the manual, 60 to 70 percent of patients will really go back to smoking. But the key here is still to congratulate them. Yung iba kasi pag sinabing the key is to congratulate them, ang iniisip is congratulate them for smoking again. But no, we congratulate them for the time that they have been smoke-free. So this, ah, sorry. So um, how do we um, deal with slips and relapses? So first is we we re or we are we reassess the stage of change. So yung uh, yung questionnaire, yung form D, pwede yung gamitin siya uh, anytime pag uh, depende sa discretion ng depende sa discretion ng, ng, ng clinician or ng, ng, ng doctor. So we also review uh, with the client their reasons for stopping smoking. We also review uh, coping, stra coping strategies for, 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 for triggers and identify necessary changes in coping strategies and renew clients commitment to stop smoking so how this is so how do we maintain a smoke uh, free lifestyle so first is we we um, advise client to continue with coping strategies to address high risk situations or cravings 
And we, we also help the patient avoid uh, triggers for smoking, such as um, occasions for smoking or being with people who smoke. So we have this one patient na siguro masabi ko suki na talaga namin who have been um, following up almost every month. Um, parang na-handle ko siya parang one, uh, twice or thrice. Uh, parang nasa fifth or sixth month na siya. So last December, this patient, um, nakasmoke daw siya ulit. So bumalik siya na hindi pa niya schedule because nagkaroon siya ng parang guilt feeling. So yung, yung, uh, what I'm trying to say is yung common um, trigger or common um, cause for the patient to smoke again is usually yung pag nakakakita sila ng naninigarilyo, pag may kasama silang um, may pag-crowded place, um, pag may nag-iinuman din sa harap nila kasi sabi nila masarap daw manigarilyo pag, uh, pag nag-iinuman. So we, we have to recognize and we have to address this, these triggers. We also engage in, um, we also help the client or the patient engage in a worth, worthwhile activities like a new hobbies or sports to deal with boredom and use stress management techniques to deal with stresses in life. Uh, I think ito na yung last slide ko. But this is the, ano, this is the a pamphlet that, we, that we've been using. Uh, this was first printed during the World No Tobacco, World no Tobacco Day last year. Um, uh, we've distributed this uh, during that day <clears throat> kasabay nung ano namin nung parang uh, lecture so the contents of this uh, pamphlet is uh, the ill effects of smoking we call this the smoker's body and the effects um a few minutes after uh stopping uh when when we stop smoking so it is also important that we we provide them with the schedule of the cleaning so the smoking cessation clinic um, yung schedule namin is uh, usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, hindi siya 3 to 5. Actually, it's uh, 1 to 3 p.m. Usually kasi yung nurses namin uh, umuwi na by, by, by 3 p.m. Ah, okay, yun na pala yung last slide ko. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gabrera. Uh, we just would like to ask, po, Doc, uh, are there available medications po in your clinic uh, for our patients who attempt uh, uh, so, uh, As of the moment, um, actually, when I entered residency, or, or baka mali ako, uh, wala kami masyadong ginagamit na, na like medications or treatment. But nung nag-partner kami sa World Health Organization, uh, nag nagkaroon kami ng ano ng ng patches yung nicotine patches as of the moment uh, yun lang yung ano yun lang yung nagagamit namin and yun yung yung easy siguro mabigay sa patient because uh, it's free yung yung nicotine gum kasi uh, meron din naman siya no sa mercury drug daw na bibili pero parang ano parang madalas wala Yung problem din natin sa patches, mahal siya. Uh, yung isang box ng patch, parang nagkakahalaga ng 1,700 hanggang 2,000 pesos. At isang week lang yon So kaya, yung, kaya the, the program or the clinic is really striving hard to, ano, is really striving hard to partner with, with different agencies so that we can um, address um, the the smoking problems kahit man lang sa sa level lang ng ng SPMC or kahit man lang sa mga employees natin who smoke yun po thank you po doc doc just to confirm po doc na available po siya doc pero limited ang so kung for example makalafer meeting of patients soon na apay mahatag na patch or sa tapat doc ah ayun din um <laughs> Meron pa naman na eh, yung 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 patch namin kasi ngayon um actually yung iba na expire na nabigay kasi siya sa amin parang uh, parang 3 or 3 to 5 months mag-expire na 
eh during nung time na binigay yung ano, during yung time na binigay yung patches, um, hindi pa masyadong marami yung yung patients namin. So, um, nung when the pandemic started, talagang na-halt yung, yung services ng program. Wala kaming, uh, kahit teleconsultation, halos wala talaga at all. So, parang talawang taon na stop siya. So ngayon parang we we try to to build we try to build the, the clinic back. So parang meron pa naman kaming mabigay as of the moment pero uh, rest assured that the program or the clinic no uh, is really uh, parang trying our best to 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 provide ano yung yung, yung patches. Uh, we are we are already uh drafting a letter para ipadala namin sa kay doctor uh ante Trinidad yung yung parang sa smoking cessation ng World Health Organization para maka magkaroon kami ng patches. O siguro pati na rin siguro other other treatment. I think Dr. Kasha yung smoking cessation consultant namin would like to add. Oh, hi, good evening po. <laughs> Thank you Dr. Doplex. Um in addition lang po dun sa nicotine patch. Oo nga Dr. Paul, it's uh, sayang nahihinayang nga kami kasi it was been um given to to us last november at ayun so mga near x march ang first batch was at, um expired na po siya last march and i think yung natitira pa is about to expire ano ba next about to expire this um end of april po so doc doc all if ever uh, makahabol pa kami po marami pa po tayong patches po sa um sa aming department po uh, until end of April naman po siya. So may may one week pa or ilang days na lang po ba <laughs> natitira po, Doc? Um, good afternoon, uh, uh, Doc. Uh, thank you po, Doc, for ano uh, no, no. I think this is one of the good things about this meeting. We, we actually have a lot of patients, even in patients po na uh, has ano no severe na tobacco use disorder so i don't think uh, i think with our with a uh, good collaboration between our departments po doc hindi tayo mawalaan ng pasyente po um is there a way po na magkaroon din kami ng patch or paano kaya yun siya doc uh, coordinate na lang po siguro kay dr cabrera para anyways um binigay naman yun ng um sa atin or mm. uh, so anyone can avail of it through us. So, pa-coordinate na lang po namin si Dr. Cabrera sa inyo, Dr. Para ma-endorse din namin yung mga near, super near, expiring na mga patients <laughs> natin po. Nag-hatchet din po, ma-ano to? 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 Thank you, Kayo. Ano na lang din yung ano ni Dr. Paul. Yes, Doc, we are more than willing po, Doc, na makipag-collaborate po sa inyo, especially uh, with regards to counseling. And actually, Dr. Paul, we, um, before the pandemic, we already included you in our, uh, in the list of your, <laughs> ano po, Dok, yung sa task force ng SPMC against uh, smoking. So, hindi ka pa lang talaga namin napuntahan in person to personally invite you po sa, ano, yung, at least, uh, Dr. Paul is very much willing to to help us I think po, Dr. Montiliano would like to, to add also. Uh, good evening po. So to add lang po regarding po yung concern ng ating supplies, maybe we can ano po, present our the need or the present data kasi yun lang po ang pwede nating with the smoking cessation program kasi, we can lobby for the needed logistics po. Uh, especially kung marami po nangangailangan, nangangailangan ng parts kasi hindi nang sabi ng DOH. If DOH or WHO cannot provide you with your needs, you can request or procure. So unless po available sa Philippines, kung hindi po available yan po, kailangan talaga dadaan tayo with WHO and DOH. So we can procure naman kasi parang medication din yan. So we can ask your help po for the necessary data so that our pharmacist po ma-include ito. Kung PNDF naman, ma-include po ito sa ating uh, PPMP sa 2024 budget. Thank you po. Um, good 
Ah, okay na. Ah, thank you very much po, uh, Dr. Scasha uh, Monteliano and Dr. Cabrera. Uh, we are looking forward po for more collaborative uh, actions between our departments, especially with regards to smoking cessation. And of course, as, uh, as residents, training residents, we are also looking forward to practice uh, motivational interview skills. No, uh, hopefully in your uh, in your clinic po, dira, sa, uh, sa smoking cessation sa family. So, um, we still have another meeting in our department at 7. Uh, if there are any other questions, wala naman po siguro. Uh, but uh, I think Dr. Javier and I will be talking about this more. So, rest assured na our actions towards smoking cessation will not end tonight po. So, with that po, we thank both departments, consultants, and residents who are present here today. Yes, ano, no, very fruitful and productive ano, fruitful na productive pa, na meeting between our departments. So, uh, we'll see each other na lang po dyan, Dr. Javier. <laughs> uh, can we request everyone to turn on their camera for documentation na lang po? Kabali. Uh, Kabali Okay, we'll be taking a screenshot in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> and last call. Three, next two, page. one. Next page. We have three pages. Po. Next page. Okay, open. Po. Three, two, one. We're taking a screenshot in three, two, one. Last page. Po. <laughs> <laughs> Last page. Last page. But one. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. So thank you, everyone. I'll see you around. Thank you. Okay,